So in this lecture, we learn about the properties of points, lines, and planes. So we already spoke about some of these concepts prior point. Something like this. You've re used this maybe in a coordinate point or a location. Now the point is always zero dimensional. It does not have a dimension. You may have heard about 2D and 3D. So if you had zero D, that would be a point. In the previous lecture, we learned about a line. There are three ways to represent a line. There's the line segment. The line which goes, extends forever. And then we have the ray. So these three. You have to remember these. These will be important. So a line is one dimensional. Or 1D. And then the last is the plane. So a plane is, uh, as you notice, a sequence in the dimensions. You can already predict that it will be two-dimensional. So 2D, 2D images. What do you think 2D images are? Or shapes? Maybe a rectangle, right? A parallelogram, a square. So these are 2D images. Now what if we have two lines that never meet? Those are called parallel lines. They never meet. We normally add these arrows on both sides to show it's either a line or array or uh, a line segment but we show this arrow for parallel lines and then the other type of lines that we have are perpendicular lines these lines intersect at right angles or 90 degrees okay so if you have a line like your x and y axis they intersect at 90 degrees so this is your right angle normally because it's a very common angle we show it with this box okay so perpendicular line so any other line can intersect at any angle. So if there were lines like this, they can intersect at a certain angle. We may have to measure it, but these are uh, lines of intersection. Perpendicular lines intersect exactly at one point. Intersect, let's use a different color. Intersect at one point. Now, what if we have a plane and a line or a ray? Let's start with the ray. So let's say if a ray is intersecting with it. So that can meet at a certain point over here 
or the ray can be on the plane itself. Like if you put a pencil on a sheet of paper, it's lying down like this. So imagine a pencil on a sheet of paper. So this is when a ray intersects a plane. So it can either be a ray but it cannot be a line because you can't extend it both ways. So when a ray intersects a plane, you can either get a point or you can get a ray. So this is something you need to remember. Similarly, when we have a, a line segment intersecting a plane, so you could have the line segment over here, or you could have the line segment passing through it and intersecting at a point. So those are the two options. So similar to what we had previously. So this is the point. So two planes intersect at a line as shown in the diagram. So I drew those two planes. So plane one, this is plane one, and this one's plane two. 